Hello everybody, welcome to week number two of HRD 631, The Adult Learner. Congratulations on making it through your first week. Um, the first week getting used to bright space, getting used to being back in school for some of you, and for everybody getting back into the routine of being back in school is difficult. I know there's people in our class that are dealing with other things beyond this class and that is the nature of being an adult learner so congratulations on making it through the first week the goal for this video will be to quickly go over week number one the class introductions and the discussion forum on writing a learning autobiography and then we're going to take a look at week number two including what is specifically due during week number two so to get us going, quick discussions um, about last week's introductions. I just wanted to say we're, we're an extremely uh, diverse and talented group of people in our class, and I think we're going to have a wonderful class this semester with the diversity, with the talent that we, we have. Judging from the introductions and also the second uh, discussion post where we're all in for a treat. Now, a word about the writing a learning autobiography discussion forum. Um, there were some themes that came up through when I read those, and one of them was, you know, basically, why are we starting with the self? Why are we we starting with the learning autobiography? So, um, you know, it's it to some it seemed counterintuitive. One of the one of the most important things about adult learning, at least from my standpoint, is that adults bring a tremendous amount to the table of their own life. So, one of the things that we do as educators is, is connect their past life or their life in general what they already know with new content information. We'll be covering this in like weeks five, six, in that range. Um, the two readings that we started off the course with, the intent of those is to give you an idea of how people remember their own lives. And this comes into play with the last assignment of the year, which is a learning autobiography. Uh, so, it's very intentional that we start off with these two articles from Mike Brady and Mike Brady and Desi Larson. Desi used to be a professor in this program and now she's a pastor, I believe, out in Wyoming. She is a wonderful person, or she is a wonderful person. So stay tuned. This just kind of resets our summer with and brings it back to us. So, so much of adult learning starts with us as the learner. Okay, now let me switch gears, and what we're going to do is we're going to take a very quick look at the syllabus, and then we're going to take a look at um, week two, and specifically week two and what is due in week two. So I'm now looking at our syllabus, or actually the introduction to the syllabus and our course goals. You can find these right in Brightspace. Go to syllabus hit the button, and you're going to get the complete syllabus. Um, the intent of this course is really to help you develop a full understanding of adult learning. For those that have taken classes already in the adult and higher ed program, some of this may be for familiar to you, some of it may not. But really it's to develop your own understanding and philosophy about adult learning. Now, on a personal note, I took this class many years ago, probably 20 years ago at this point, and it was one of the most important classes that I took in the entire adult and higher ed program. It actually formed the basis and the outline for some of the questions that I had when I did my doctoral research and my dissertation. So we cover, it's considered a survey course, which means that we cover a lot of topics in less detail than some other courses. So you can take a look at the introduction. I'm going to quickly go down and go through the schedule. You can see we're already meeting. Classes have begun. Fall break. We really don't have a traditional fall break this year. And actually, um, I'll 
talk about Thanksgiving, but we, we do have a couple of days off around Columbus Day or whatever we are calling it at this point. And I think Maine has its unique designation for that. Um, so we have a fall break on October 12th and 13th. Usually what I do with these is I say it's a little longer than that. We might even, I might cut down the work that we have on that week, but that's officially it. We have Veterans Day on the 11th. Thanksgiving break is going to be the entire week. So no work is expected from Sunday before Thanksgiving to Monday after Thanksgiving. Contact information, goals. You guys know there's me. I'm at a wedding last year, two years ago, with one of my grandkids um, about the course. So you can take a look at the about the course that was before. I think one of the most important things that we do discuss this week is we, we, we talk about the differences between pedagogy and andragogy. Pedagogy is the art and science of teaching children. Um, andragogy is the art and science of teaching adults. Now, there's some uh, questions about andragogy. I now think of it more along the lines of a set of assumptions about adults, and we will be getting into that. Goals. I'm not going to go over everything because you can read these. The questions, the course outcomes, expectations. So all of this academic in integrity, our readings. We've been through that before. Now, a couple of things in the syllabus, and I do need to apologize. A couple of pick people have picked this up. Uh, student information sheet. I did not put it in. I'm trying to streamline some of the activities and as much as I keep on trying to make sure that I delete it from every place, it still creeps up. So the student information sheet is something that I used in previous classes. I am not using here because it just adds a level of complexity that we don't need. Um, that would, Basically that was the same as the introduction. Learning project um, question. So that's due on October 4th. We'll talk about that. Learning reflective paper, which is sometimes called LRPs. That's due on the 18th. The exploration project. This is an opportunity for you to study and examine something you're really interested in um, relating to adult learning. A couple of things to this. The first part is due November 8th. And then we're going to have presentations. This is your opportunity to present to our class what you learned in your exploration project. And then the final assignment of the year is a learning autobiography, which is due right before Christmas, um, December 19th. And how you participate in the discussion post is worth 100 points. There's a big description on each one of these. I will have a breakdown for usually two or three weeks before the assignment is due. So I'm going to leave it right at there, right at this point. You can take a look at the syllabus. We can talk about the syllabus. We are going to have an optional Zoom meeting this Wednesday at 6.30, and I have more information on that when I, when I talk about week two information. So I'm going to switch gears and go to week two. Okay, week two. How do you get there? You go to the content area, go to week two, click on, click on week two. Here we go. So the first thing that you're going to be doing is, if you haven't done it already, there's going to be a recording of this video. The recording is going to go right in here. This video will be uploaded after the video is recorded. That's what I'm doing right now. So what are we doing this week specifically? Read Rebecca Platt's, and there's a couple other students learning autobiographies in there. The reason we do this early on in the course is not to scare anybody. It's just so you can preview the culminating um, assignment that's due in December, the end of, end of our class. Take a look at that. You don't need to do anything more than read it. Just be aware that what I did post online and it's over here 
learning autobiography as examples is they are their interpretation of their lives and their learning autobiographies, how they wrote it. Don't need to do anything at this point. Just read it, let it sit for a while, and if you want, we can discuss it on Wednesday at our optional Zoom meeting. There's additional readings this week. Read chapters one and two in the text. There's a PowerPoint presentation. Really, this week is learning settings and the learning context for adult education. And there's many weeks in advance, but I just want people to start thinking about something that interests them um, in adult learning. Maybe one of the questions that they have. Once again, this isn't an action item. It's just I, I want everybody to start thinking about it. And then I included an advanced organizer for week number three. So let me go down here and show you where everything is. Uh, week two video. When this video is, is done, it will be put here. I'll probably put this up front so you can take a look at it. Introduction to the week. I'll click on this. So we're really looking at chapter one which is basically what's going on right now with adult education in in the United States and around the world. And then we're going to take a look at chapter two. And chapter two discusses the formal, informal, and non-formal opportunities in adult learning. So each one of those are different. So between chapter one, where we really talk about what's changing, what are the demographic, uh, demographic changes, what's going on globally, and how has technology changed um, adult education? Now, a word we are using, the third edition of the text, the reason for that is the other edition came out late and I didn't want to change things, and plus the third edition is cheaper. So if at any point you want or maybe you did purchase the fourth edition don't worry we can work around that we can work with it okay let me switch gears I'm gonna go back week two module introduction we completed that learning objectives for the weeks the two readings there's two additional readings this week PowerPoint presentation and there's there's two two files one is the powerpoint and one is the text um, thumbnail sketches for book number eight i would say don't worry too much about that this is these are books that we're going to be reading or book excerpts we're going to be reading in chapter eight you don't need to do anything at this point advanced organizer for week three and the video so that is really what you have to do this week um, and I'm going to just switch to one more thing here. And this is going to go out in the announcement. Excuse me. Okay. Finally. So this is the announcement that you're going to see. I will send this out in probably um, sometime today. I'll send this to you. But I want to highlight the optional Zoom meeting coming up on this Wednesday, September 9th at 630. This is an optional meeting. It is not required. I will record every one of the Zoom meetings that we have this semester. So if you can't make it, don't worry. So the intent of this is it can be question and answer. It could be something that comes up, but it is not going to be a formal lecture on my part. This is going to be informal, check in. You can show up, you can ask some questions, you can say you don't understand anything. We can discuss many different topics. It's really up to you. So that is that is it. That's about where we're at. As you can see, the activities are down here. And this is the announcement that you'll be receiving shortly. So Good luck in week two. Please let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. I'm here to help. My telephone number is 207-837-9565. Call, text. We can set up a Zoom. I'm happy, I'd be happy to help. Thank you, everybody, and we'll see you online.